The next drama we're going to see is titled In Times Like This. Enjoy it. Recession, recession, recession. Nearly every family has felt an impact from this recession. There is no escaping. Some believe that they have seen the bottom and they are surviving. They are relaxing, feeling okay, and expect to persevere with modest adjustment. But they are kidding themselves. The bottom of the recession has not been reached. And it may be a long slide until it does. During these times, it is easy for one to panic. And panic leads to fear. Panic leads to anxiety. And sometimes it leads to disaster. really going on in my business <sighs> my goodness for six months all accounts on red Child. God what is happening my business is going down by the day oh my god this, this recession is, is dealing with me. Kyle, how do I pay my workers? How do I repay the bank loan? I, I can't even service it anymore. This is dangerous. What do I do? Oh God, a lot of people who are depending on me and now that my business is not doing well, how do, oh my God, what is this? God, Jesus. Excuse me, sir. Yes, Alice. Sir, bank officials from Universal Bank, they are here to see you, sir. Let them in. All right. Mr. Monday. <laughs> Gentlemen. Mr. Monday. Good afternoon, Mr. Monday. How are you? Fine, thank you, sir. You're welcome. Thank you. Um it's been more than 270 days since we last saw you or heard from you. And so we came to find out what is the problem. And you know it's as regards the loan which you took from the bank. My brother, it has not been easy with me. My business is facing serious challenges. In fact, before you entered, I was just looking at my account books. In fact, it is not my desire to delay the, the, the long but the economic recession is 
terribly telling on me. My business is going down. Well, Mr. Monday, uh, you, right now you are at default. And we have no other option but to report you to the collection agency. Because you're supposed to have been servicing this loan by now. But you failed. And right now it's really affecting us. I hope you understand. Please, it has not come to that. Uh, you know how it is. I don't do this before. You remember three years ago. I paid all my loans before in the time expired. It is just the economic situation. Please understand with me. Yes, Mr. Mondi. We understand. But we can't help you and then kill ourselves. You know the bank we have, we, we, we deal with money and then uh, if there is any mistake or at such, it will affect us a lot. The recession is biting you. It's also biting us. And we can't be at the losing end. Please, Mr. Mondi. We are going to report you to the collection agency. And they are going to come here for collection action. And that means they are coming to possess whatever you sign as agreement. Because you have failed your breach of agreement. Please, understand with me. Help me speak to your manager. Just give me some time. I will, I will make up. Mr. Mondi, we've heard what you said. But please, the next time you hear from us, it will be with the collection agency. Have a nice day. It's okay. Bye. Hi. Jesus. What is all this? <gasps> a homie. Focus International. <gasps> what is all this? Lord Jesus. I need your help now. Excuse me, sir. Hello, Alice. Sir, the landlord is here to see you. The landlord? Yes, sir. Yes, Mr. Monde. You can go. Okay, landlord. How are you? You are welcome. Your rent Sit down now. is due since three months. You forgot or what? Okay, landlord. How can I forget? Sit down now. Yeah, you I'm not in the mood to sit. I'm not in the mood to sit down. I need money. I need my money. Where is my money, Mr. Monde? You have not been doing like this. Okay, landlord. You are in this country. You, you, you can see how things are going. My business is not doing well lately. In fact, I can hardly take care of my basic needs at the moment. Just give me some more time. Look, all these stories you are talking, it's not what I've come here to listen to. Are you listening to me? See, you have your own problems. I have mine. You want to solve your own? I want to solve mine. Okay? See? Oh, Galan Lord, I don't owe you before. You know that. That was before. You said before. Just give me some more time and I'll pay you. Okay. Listen, I'm giving you two weeks. Two weeks. If you don't pay within two weeks, what I will do, you won't like it. Oh, Galan Lord. I have ah, told you. You, you can't. It's me, oh. Remember, I used to pay you three years in advance. Mr. Monday, eh? two weeks. It's okay. Hi. Oh, Jesus. God, this is, this is too much for a day. This is too much for a day. Eh? Excuse me, sir. Sir, there's a customer here with a police officer. They are here to see you, sir. A police officer? Yes, sir. What for? Sir, so they okay. said they want to see Let you. Yes. Where is your MD? He's here. Oh. So you sold an expired product to me. Excuse me. Expired is product. Is this not your product? In this company. Let me see. I'm very sorry, sir. 
there must be a mix, mix up somewhere we don't do this it could be that my workers they supplied this from an old stock we have which i had given an order they shouldn't sell save me for of this uh, explanation officer arrest him please it has not come to that we hey, can Mr. resolve please, officer take it easy we can resolve this it's not a big See, issue it's because you are you look dangerous. that is why i have not rough handling you by now and please don't make me do so move Finally, the Lord has done it. 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 Ah, Daddy, good evening, sir. My daughter, how are you? I'm fine, Daddy. I am so happy, so happy today. Daddy, take. Take, take. This is my admission letter. Daddy, I have gotten admission into the university to study medicine. And we are told to pay 250,000 naira for registration. 250,000 naira only. Hmm. Oh, God, I thank you. Ah, so I'm going to mm. be an undergraduate. Hey, God, I thank you. Hmm. Oh, thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. Ah. Hmm. Matthew, how are you? I'm fine. Uh, this one you are smiling. Uh, ah, I'm no very happy said. today. Oh. I'm very, very yeah. happy. I have gotten admission finally. Hmm. Don't mean it. Yes. I'm happy for you. Yes. So. <laughs> Daddy. I'm going to thank you. Today. Well, work is fine. Uh, Daddy, we are asked to pay 45,000 naira for a work. Ah, Daddy will give us now. That I, is only. Ah, Daddy will give us. Thank you so much. Thank you, Father. Hey! Hey, mommy! I got your admission! Yeah, I got, finally! Yes, yeah, finally! Thank you, Jesus! Hey! I'm thank so you, happy. Jesus! Hey! Yes! Finally! Finally! You're finally. Daughter, I'm not an undergraduate! Hey! hey. <laughs> Woo! Thank you, Jesus! Yes, so. Hey! Daddy, Janet, I didn't even know you have come back. You're welcome. Hey, see the, the thing I told you last night. The things that, are, that we need in the house. I mean, we discussed last night. Now. See, mm. I've compiled them. See, 35,000. Mommy, I'll follow you to the market when you're going to uh, the market. Please, uh, do quick and give me. Let me see if I can rush yeah. and buy the things before church service. 35,000. Hey! I'm so happy. I'm so happy. Don't worry, you will go with me. Hey! Why are you giving me. Mommy, uh, open his face. It. But it's not money now. I open his Read it. Read what? What is this? Ah, ah, please, it's money I need. Bring the money now. Time is going now. Open it and read it. Open it first. That what is my termination is letter. Eh? What is what? That is what. Eh? I lost my job. Eh? Eh? Uh -huh. eh? What are you? Eh? What, 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 job? what is what? Hold on. Woman, don't add to my problem. Don't add to my problem. Mama, mad you? Please. Please, go and call my neighbor. Papi Kenna. Tell him to come with his vehicle. Quick. Quick. Please. Please. Don't add to my problem. Don't add to my problem, this woman. 
Don't kill me. Deliver me from this trouble. Doctor, please, what's this situation? What about my wife? I'm afraid, How is sir, she? Eh? My wife has CVA. Eh? What does that mean? Cerebrovascular accident. Eh? I can't understand. Okay, in a layman's language, it means stroke. Hey! hey! Your oh. wife has stroke. <laughs> Doctor, please help me. A stroke is usually caused by either total or partial blockage of the flow of blood to the brain. My and because God. the brain feeds on the nutrient from the blood and also the oxygen, the cells die. Hey. Ah! And the brain stops working. Oh my God! But I, I also suspect that she has ischemic stroke, which is not too, 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 too terrible. In that case, we must start right now to admit on, on, onto her to thrombolistic treatment. Please, please, quickly, help me, do something. Please. But sir, that will be with some deposit. You must pay some money before we start our treatment. Why? Why, doctor? Because the doctor... Please, have... give her the treatment. We'll talk about money later. Please. I'm sorry, sir. The, the drugs are so costly. You must pay for that treatment, sir. How much does the deposit work? How much will it cost me? About um, 150,000. 150, what? Yes, Doctor! Ah! As you are looking at me, in all my world, I have only 5,000 naira in my account. I've just lost my job. It was the information that I gave to her that caused all this problem. Ah! Doctor, help me, please. Where will I get 150,000 naira? Please, do something. I'm sorry, sir. I wish I could help, but I can't, sir. Doctor, please. Sir, the drugs are quite... Doctor, costly. please, please. I beg you. I'm sorry, I can't help. Please. I'm sorry, I can't help, sir. Ah! I'm undone. Ah! Don't cry, my daughter. God will help us. Don't cry. Ah! 150,000 naira. 150,000 naira. From where? 150,000 naira. Agatha, come here. Leave me. Please leave me. Where are you running to? Leave me, oh. Leave me. Every time you'll be disturbing someone. I said you should come here. I said you should leave me now, eh? After having three children. Come and fulfill your wifely obligations. Which obligations, eh? Which obligations? After having three children. Want me to have the fourth one. In this time of recession. When there's no money to even feed the children. Want me to have the fourth one. No. Leave me. Leave me. I'm not see, doing anything see, again. See, my wife. <sighs> my father has us eight in number. <sighs> my very self. I want to have only six children. Hey. Just, just six children. Hey, six K. Ha. My husband, please now. Understand me. Understand me, eh? Even the Bible talks about wisdom. Eh? In Proverbs chapter 4, verse 7, the Bible says that we should have wisdom. Wisdom is the principal thing. Have wisdom in all you're getting. Have understanding. Eh? Please, my husband, now please, see, eh? You see, please. You are putting scripture for me. Oh God, oh, this man should just. I don't know why women of these days are very stubborn to their husbands. <sighs> even though they go to church. We have quoted that the same Bible said in the book of Ephesians chapter 5, verse 22. Wife, submit to yourself unto your husbands. Oh as unto the Lord. Oh, my husband, please now. What do I have respect? Don't I have respect in this house? My husband, please now, eh? Please, I beg you. I beg you in the name of God. The times are too hard. Things are hard now. In times like this, in times like this, wisdom demands that we should cut our coats according to our clothes. We should go for family planning, you know, and instead of having three more children, go for family planning, my husband. Please, I beg you, my Listen. husband. I'm begging you. <laughs> 
Are you the one who will take care of them? Are you God? I know will you feed them? I know I'm not God. God will take care of I them. I know I'm not God. I'm just telling you. No more children. No, I'm not God. Ah, I'm not God. I'm, I'm, I'm telling you, I'm not doing anything again. Gata, come here. No more children. I've just where, you, where are you going? Come, come here, Gata. What can you do? Look at this woman. Okay, it's me and you in this house. Who is there? You may enter. Ah, uh -uh. brother. Good day, sir. How are you? Thank you, sir. Ah, you're in my office today. Yes, sir. You're welcome. Yes, sir. Sit. How is business? Uh, we thank God we are coping. <sighs> Please, don't be worried. Don't be surprised. I just came this time uh, to no. encourage to your office work. No, that's not a problem. The reason is because of some needs I have in the house. In fact, to be frank, as I'm talking to you now, there are no single, no cup of garlic in the house. No food in the house. Mm. I come that you may assist me and help me to, at least to see if I can be able to solve some of these problems. Wow. What a pity. You see... It's, it's quite appalling, but the way it is with me now, my business is not doing well now. In fact, I am passing through the worst period of my business life. You know me now. If I have, I wouldn't fail to give you. What I don't have, my business is down. In fact, the, the banks are after me. As I speak with you, the banks are after me. Forget the, the, the way I, I try to cover up in church because I don't want, I don't want to you know, show everything. But I know what I'm going through. Please. Sir, just anyhow. Just anyhow. Anyhow. So I can be able to, no matter how small it is, nothing is too big, nothing is too small. Please, sir. You know you wouldn't beg me if I have it. You know now, things have just changed. Huh? Just understand, bro. Okay. Okay, I should be going. Uh, uh, Thank you. Uh, uh, sorry, sorry. Hold on. Um, I lent you. You're planning to have another child, and I think it's not in your best interest, you know, given the the kind of economy that we have now. You need to give yourself some break so that you can take care of your your children. You know how. It is not about having the children, Sir, it's about taking care how, of the children. How, came, how, how you came about with this information? Who gave you this information? Well, I was having a, a discussion with your wife after service yesterday evening, and she told me. So, I, I had it in mind that I'm, I'm going to speak to you on that. Okay. You need to understand your wife so that you don't give yourself more stress than necessary. Okay, thank you, sir. Uh, you said uh, it's my wife that told you that you got information from my wife. Abby? Yes, yes, that's okay. what I said. Thank you, sir. But I, I hope you know what, no, what, what no, I'm no, saying. No, 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 Lord, you see why you need to intervene in my situation? You see why you need to come into this situation? You see why you, you shouldn't allow me to have this dryness for long? A lot of people are looking up onto me. They won't understand me when I try to explain, Lord. Come to my age. I have many mouths to feed. Lord, please, this is a time for you to answer my prayers. I know you will. Ah, Sister Gechi. Oh, Solomon. Where are you running at the time of the day? Good evening, sir. Ah, uh, fat. Look at how you are shining. 
shining. It's a face. In this, in this a, 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 in fact, this change not not show your, not show your face at all. Who told you? Leave this color. Hey, leave this color. In fact, where you say you are going at this time of the day? I want to see. I'm going to Bromonde's house. Who? Bromonde. I want to start up his small business. Let me see if he can raise me any amount. Let me add to the one I have. Is it Bromonde? I own Bromonde leader. Yes, now nah, I own Bromonde. Ah, no, 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 don't, no, try it at all. If you see how this brother harassed me today, Jesus, fact, it remains for him to bulldoze me out of his office. I brought Just, Bromonde. I went. I'm just coming from that place now to ask him of a little favor to because of my family. In fact, the worst is that he even he even even embarrassed me by trying to use my family family problem to mock me. I don't know how people of God, children of God these days are doing, even though behaving as if they don't go to church. I can't understand. Don't try it. If I may advise you, but if you like, you can go. Now, wow. Anyway, thank God I've not gone to him. Because he would have used Boone to sweep me out. Oh. All this brother. In fact, me, I'm going back. Okay. Uh, you're going, you're not going I'm not, go okay. I'm okay. going back home. Oh. Hey. Okay, okay I'm don't going worry. Home. I'm going also. My wife, how are you? I'm fine. Should I bring in your food now? Yeah, sure, you can. Okay. Woman, what happened to this soup? Oh. There's nothing wrong with this soup now. You can see it yourself. Uh, there is nothing wrong with this soup. Come. Is it that you don't have eyes again to see or you don't have understanding? The money you dropped for me this morning before you left for work, this is what it can afford. I see. I want to ask a question. Did I give you the usual money I used to drop every day or not? See, there, that money you've been giving, I've been managing it. Things are very close now in the market. You need to understand. Who made you my manager? I married you to be my wife and not my manager. Listen, I want to ask you do you know how much sweat that goes out of me every day to make that money I used to give to you? Do you know how much I give to you? I give you a whole 1,000 naira. I gave you 1,000 naira this morning to prepare food. And you're supposed to give me four pieces of meat. And you are here giving me just one. My dear, please understand. The price of things are not high in the market. Please manage this food and eat. Please. Just put something in your tummy. Don't sympathize with me. This one is worse than what I can manage. This kind of food cannot go inside my stomach. Do you understand? Please, I have an advice for you. I don't want to do something that I will end up regretting. To avoid the street that I touch, please just carry this food, go back to the kitchen, and complete this meat. Please, now I'm begging you, eat this food. Please. Oh, now I understand. I know you want me to do something silly so that you can go and report me to the pastor. Abby? <laughs> Your plan will not work. You see, carry this food. Return it back to the kitchen. Period. I'm not eating again. Nonsense. Kalistus, what is the meaning of all this now? It is a season of life where doubt, fear, and anxiety seems to have looped over you like an ever-present dark cloud. A time when you feel so alone, so down, and so hot that you can't seem to ever think that God is ever there. 
a time when you wrestle with a big question of life and faith. Is God still there? Does he hear my prayer or care at all? Brethren, in times like these, may I remind you that God is still ever there. He is still at work in your life. Even when you question him, God is faithful. Even when you think he has abandoned you, God is faithful. Even when he is silent, God is faithful. There is still hope. Jesus, yes, is the one. This rock is Jesus. Turn it around. See everything, eh? I can see everything, Lord. Oh, my God. I can see everything, eh? Everything, eh? Everything, eh? Everything, eh? Everything, eh? Everything, eh? Everything, of iron I will give hidden treasures riches stored in secret places so that you may know that I am the Lord thy God the God of Israel who summoned you by name oh my God. I can see everything I can see everything, Lord. Oh my God. I can see everything, Lord. Everything, Lord. Everything, Lord. Everything, Lord. Oh my God. I can see everything, Lord. Everything, Lord. Everything, Lord. Lord. 
God still works to heal people in ways that defy medical knowledge. In times of recession, God is still healing. And this night, that healing will occur in your life. For the Lord says, He has given us authority to cast out evil spirit and to heal every kind of diseases in Jesus' name. This season is not a time of bringing children to the world without planning. It is not a time for comparison. The fact that somebody has more than three children does not mean you must do the same. This is a season of planning and managing effectively. It is a period when the rich seem to be crying more and when you don't get help from the brethren. It doesn't mean that they have changed. It is a time to repent and seek favor from the Lord. Turning around, everything turning around, everything turning around for my God. I can see. Turning around, turning around, turning around, everything turning around for my God. I can see everything turning around, everything turning around, everything turning around. I can see everything I God is the same yesterday, today, and forever. His love for us lasts for eternity. He is always good. Every morning, there is a new opportunity for him to move on your behalf. He is a provider of every need. He holds us. When God is involved, oh, there is turning around. Resist it. This is not a time of eating like a gluten. Rather, it is a time to save. It is a time to act like Joseph. Remember the Joseph principle. He made the people save. And Egypt flourished during the times of famine. Do you love him? I love him. Do you love him? I love him. Amen. Do 
know you love my Jesus. I love you. Do you love him? I love you. Do you love him? I love him. Amen. Brethren, in times like this, it is best to rely on God. Joseph always relied on God. Even in his toughest time, he always depended on God. His faith never wavered. God can handle your doubts. He can handle your fears and worries. Those that love God, all things work together for good to them that are called according to his purpose. The steadfast love of the Lord never ceases. His mercies endure it forever. They are new every morning. Great is his faithfulness. Brethren, you understand that money answered all things. And what it takes it than 100 years to do, a moment a God can turn your life around. Open your mouth now and say, Lord, does a single touch now will change my life. Ask him to change you. Ask him to touch you. Talk to God and ask him to touch you. Ask him to touch you and to bless you and make you a blessing. Let God make you a blessing. Poverty is what? A disease. Say, Father, I reject the spirit of poverty. I reject the spirit of poverty. You demon of poverty. I reject you this morning. Open your mouth, bind it and cast it out. Out of your life, out of your family, rebuke the power of poverty, rebuke the power of poverty, destroy the power. Every spirit of poverty, losses, losses, poverty, yes, destroy it.